We're going to be forming basically a turbo disc shape onto a plastic tube. Now the reason I'm doing this, in some rivers they don't allow you to add weight to your fly, meaning that you're not even allowed to use alloy tubes or, or copper, brass. You've got to use a plastic tube or a single or double, whatever they allow. Now, I wanted to get the shape of the turbo disc onto the plastic tubing, so this is what I did. And this is just a HMH tube tool, tube fly tool, and a hackle knoll and needle. And I simply just set it on fire. This is a heavy juicy, duty plastic that I like, I use myself. And basically what you do is you set it, set it on fire. And then, using the needle you put that through, and then push it up tight against the turbo disc. Try and keep this level, so that Obviously, that when you take it off, you don't have a a wonky turbo turbo cone or turbo disc shape. And all you do then is simply take it off. Now, you'll see there's some extra plastic along there. You just rub it with your nail. Yeah, so easily remove it. Just take it all the way around. Fucking disc. And then to tidy up the end, all you do is. Isn't that? There's a blade, and there you go. Now that there is the equivalent to a small. So you can take your time. You can tie it up a bit better. And there's about there's one there, a wee bit better. Just to give you an idea, you get the shape. Now then, now as part of the tube, and then it's legal. There's no problem with it. You're getting the, the idea of the turbo cone to put the movement into your fly, without adding extra weight. Sure. Then all you have to do is tie the fly. Now the fly I'm going to tie is a, a Green Highlander Spay. It's, it's an easy enough fly, well, easy, there's quite a lot to it, but it's great fun to tie. Now the thread I'm using is a UTC in yellow. It's the 140, which is actually the biggest, or the widest. As you see, it covers really quick. So, ideal for that. And the best thing to do is if you've got quite a light coloured body, use a light coloured thread. That's why I'm using the yellow, say kind of yellow and green body. Now I'm going to, I'm not going to put a tail on this fly, but I have a tag and uh, paste the two colours in the body. I, uh, and then it's flashes, I'm going to be using a yellow and a green highlander. For the rib, I'm going to use a, just a normal medium wire. For the strength, so the fly lasts that wee bit longer. And for the tag, I'm using the UTC. This is the silver holographic and large. Cut a length off. And basically tie it in about maybe, I would say five, so mil. Five millimetres is enough in the length. Just form the tag using the tinsel. And tie off. Two or three turns to hold it, and then you can tidy up. Just take the thread halfway or so back up and back down. Now, for the body, I'm going to use this as wing and flash in yellow, it's a kind of yellow pearl. Just take some of it off, like there, just dub it on, just brightens the body up. You could use a normal dubbing, like seals for or something like that. Too much, take away the excess. And then for the second part of the body, I'm going to use this is a flash of dubbing and a green highlander. Again, I've got some ready just to dub straight on. It's easy to do. Get to this point now, you need at least some like 4mm or so from the eye. Then, what I'm going to do is protect the tag a good couple of turns at the back with the wire and then just work your way up. Nice and tight, all the way towards the eye. Just cross your thread and then bend the wire into a 90 degree bend. And that there will lock the turns in. And then come in and bend and break away your silver wire. Now the wing, I'm going to form it in the, the Temple Dog style. And this is the way I like to do it. I've got some Green Highlander Arctic Fox. And what I'm going to do is tie it forward of the eye. This forms like a teardrop shape. 
three or four turns to tie down. And then you want the orange, you want it slightly shorter. Again, three or four turns to tie it down. Then you can come in, don't trim it right in close here, just this will help with the wing itself. Just cut it into a sort of point, take away the excess. Now, pull the wing back and then do some turns of thread in front. Basically, this locks in the Arctic Fox. Take the yellow thread down. Now, at this point, what I like to do is change change my thread. I'm going to change it over to black. Because I want a nice black head or a close. I mean, I'm finishing with a black hackle, so it helps if you do that. Just take away a base piece of thread and the yellow thread. Run it down nice and tight. Plenty of room in here to tie a fly. Then you get a bit of flash, this is wing and flash in Green Highlander. You put this into the wing. It's in the hank form so you get the length. All I'm doing is catching some in my side, taking it to the other side, your side. Then coming up and cutting it the length of the oh, slap in the apple. apple. You could tie it in by the tip, which it's times I do, or you could tie it in further down. I'm just going to tie it in at the butt end and take away the fluff. Just take the stem away. Just basically order the, off of the hackle to the side. Three or four turns down and then three or four turns back up. So it's folding the hackle stem back. And then trim away the excess. Now you only need a turn or so. You don't need a lot of turns here. See how the, the feather goes on. Just do a turn in front of the other. Evenly balanced either side. Just have a look. Yeah, that's plenty. And then just come in and tie it down. I'm going to fold it back. So it's three or four turns down. And then three or four turns back. Break this off. Or cut it away, whatever you want to do. Just tidy up before you do anything else. Now, for the next part, we add in some, we add some goat on. Now the goat, this is some Chinese goat dyed. It's a lime green. You see, the tips are quite dark. You usually get that when you're dyeing these. Um, Chinese goat is quite, it's really soft. At this times, can be quite hard to get a quality goat, but this, this is good stuff. Just going to line up the point slightly. And then just slightly open the fibres out. You don't need a lot. Just lie it on top. Get the length that you're looking for. In this case, I'm looking just basically around about, say, two and a half to three inches in length. Tie it down. Now, the hair's kind of like went to the one side. Now what I like to do to make sure it stays on top is hold the wing and bring the cut ends up and really tight and put a, like a fold in. This stops it running down the sides and then trim away the excess. Now goat hair's really, it's a hair, it's not hollow in any way, it's really hard hair and it doesn't compress with the thread too much so you're really best to a wee bit of glue on, super glue in this case, and wind it over the cut ends and then tighten them. I've tapered out now, I want to taper back. Now the first thing we need to add in, just a wee bit of splash to the wing. Let's come in, I guess it's some crystal flash. Just a couple of strands. As many as you like. Three or four in if you want, but in this case a couple is plenty. So I'm going to fold back the shorter ends, the waist ends, and then trim away. That's it ready. Now, I'm going to taper, as I say, towards the front. Don't forget to put the peacock curl on. 
you know, about four strands. Mm -hmm. Then you underneath to stick a bit of curve into the the hero. Now normally you would say three quarter of the length of the full full length of the wing, and then tie it down. Just pinch your loop it on the top, and then trim away the excess, and then tidy up nice and tight. Now for the blue-eared pheasant now, nice long fibres here. I'm going to tie this in by the tip, just pull the fibres back. Two or three turns, fold back the point of the hackle, and trim it away. Now you'd only get maybe a turn and a half or so. That's all you need. Just draw the fibres back. Just work your way around. That's it. Just works its way into the hackle. And then really concentrate on tying in the stem before you do anything. And then you can break it away. Nice and tight. Once this is in the water, it really pulsates and it goes into the ply. Now I'm going to put some jungle cock on just now. I've got two eyes, two good size eyes. I always put them on together. Look at the length that you want. Now I want it quite long. And then take away the fibres from either side for you to actually tie in. Form like a V if you want. Come in two or three turns, just to see how it's going to sit first. If you're happy with the position of the jungle cock, which I am, and then double check that they're the same length. Those times you put them on different lengths, this happen. Then I fold back the stem. It's nice and tight. Trim away the base piece of the stem, one from either side. Watch, watch what you're doing. Now this is the tidy up, really the hackle, whether it's where you put in the, the guinea fill, or if you put in the slapping hackles, entirely up to you. I'm going to put in the guinea fill. Just take away fluff at the bottom. You're looking not too long, probably half the length of the spay hackle that you're Lay your pheasant, just come in, fold it back, I've done most of the hackles, and then remove the point. Now I could use your hands, come in and fold these back. I'm going to use my hackle pliers so you can see better what I'm doing. It's a small pair of hackle pliers I've got here. Just going to fold these fibres, fold them back. Watch your thread and do a turn in front of the other. Right towards your homemade turbo cone. Just come in with a good half a dozen turns, let the stem go, and then fold it back nice and tight. Just basically form a small head. Then there you are. A bit of moisture here just to taper the wing to show you the shape that you can form using this style. Now I've got a stem here I want to trim away. Now to finish the fly off you don't have much of an area here. The easiest way to get it Get some super glue and run it onto the thread and then wet finish. And then get some varnish and do exactly the same again. Just run it onto your thread. This will lock in your tons of thread and really make it strong. And there you are. And that there is your turbo disc, or a turbo cone, 
Green Highlander Spay. See, lots of lot. See, once you see this in the water, it's amazing. It's a. Oh. 